One of the greatest things about having a Rasa or Hyperstar on your telescope is being able to just capture hundreds of images in a night and you have such a wide field that you can make these huge, huge pictures. And if you want to, you can put those into multiple pictures called mosaics. I just did my first mosaic in PixInsight. It was super easy. We're gonna show you how to do it right now on the channel. What's up guys, it's Chad. Welcome back to the Easy Astro Images channel. Thanks a lot for stopping by today. We got a little beginner pics and sight mosaic tutorial here featuring data acquired from my Rasa 6. Now there is a lot of videos coming on this Rasa 6 still and other cool stuff on the channel. So please continue to subscribe. Give me a comment and a like as well. And now let's get to it. So what we have here are two stacked images that we took and you can obviously see it is of the horse head and flame and you kind of see what I was going for here. I had my camera in a bad orientation, so I figured, hey, what the heck, let's just go ahead and let's try out this mosaic thing. So I've kind of been following through some of the processes I've seen online and want to simplify it a little bit here. Now. This process, as far as combining these images, is the same no matter how many you have. Whether you have two up and down like this, side by side, or if we had, say, a four by four, so two on top, two on the bottom. Looks like you want to combine those together and then combine two. You don't ever, I don't think, it, to make it easy on yourself, want to try to combine more than two at a time. I have not done anything to these at all, no color correction, no cropping or anything. And that is the first thing that we are actually going to do is we're gonna to start to manipulate these a little bit by the first thing by doing a little bit of cropping. We started off by just doing a dynamic crop on each just to trim off that nasty stuff on the edges, which could get in the way when we start to combine these images. So you're gonna to wanna to crop those in first and another thing you're gonna to wanna to do is maybe an automatic background extraction or a dynamic background ext extraction, just to kind of try to even them out a little bit. Just gonna do a re regular automatic background extraction here, and I'm just gonna leave everything at defaults because this isn't super beautiful data here. We'll leave everything exactly as it is, and we're gonna replace the target image and discard the background model. And then we're gonna to have to reapply our stretch and we're gonna do this to both images. Now what we're gonna do is actually create our first basic mosaic that we're gonna use as a template or a guide to create our final one. So we are gonna to go to the processes and open up star alignment. So the first thing you wanna do is decide whether or not you wanna pick the top or the bottom or the left or the right. We'll just go ahead and choose panel two here as our, as our actual reference image. And then we will apply this to panel one. We wanna make sure that we have thin plate splines selected, distortion corrected, local distortion turned on, and our working mode is gonna be register union mosaic, and we're gonna check frame adaptation. And then down here, we have a slider for ransack tolerance. And the higher you crank this, the easier it's gonna be. Really depends on your star field and your images. I've tested this and I've got it to work, you know, at like five, but really to make things easy, just go ahead and put it to eight. And then what we're gonna do is, since we selected panel two as our reference, we are gonna apply this to panel one. All right, and now that is done. And if we go ahead and auto stretch here, boom, there you can see we have our mosaic going on, but you can see that it's just a rough mosaic. So you see the line here, but you can see where the stars have been aligned and they kind of overlap on the line and everything else. That is just fine. This now is gonna be our reference for each one of these images to get an actual mosaic going on. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this up here and replace this and use this as our example now. And we can minimize that and get that out of the way. 
and we're gonna select this as register match images. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to apply this to each one of our individual images. And now you can see that we basically have two images that are gonna be perfectly lined up together. So we can go ahead and minimize these and get these out of the way. And we're just gonna be dealing now with these two images here, which are gonna be our top and bottom to the mosaic. So now that we got these two images registered with each other, what we got to do is make them equivalent in brightness. Now, a big shout out to Nick at Windy City Astrophotography and also to David Alt for this script. And I'll put a link to his website where you can get the script in the, the description below. And this is called DNA Linear Fit. And what this nice script is going to do is actually match the brightness of these two perfect. So when we put them together, we are going to be good. So we want panel two and registered and panel one master light registered. And all we got to do is put both of those in there. You can make either one the reference and the target. It really does not matter. And we're going to go ahead and just click OK. So now what we have to do is actually save each one of these because it will only work, the process, the merge mosaic will only work if you have a saved image, kind of a weird thing inside PixInsight. So we're just going to say panel two new and save. And panel one new and save. Now we can close the star alignment, go to process, and we're looking for a gradient merge mosaic, which is right here. And what we're going to do is we are just going to add both of these in here. And we got both of the files added in there and we're gonna just go ahead and select average. And it seems like the shrink radius, feather, the feather radius, everything just kind of works at default. And we're just gonna click on the apply global and it's gonna take those two images and it's gonna combine it and give us our beautiful mosaic image. And boom, there we go. Here is our merged mosaic image. We can zoom in and you really cannot tell a difference between the two. If there wasn't for all this walking noise in this bottom panel, it would look like just one beautiful image, but unfortunately that is just how things turned out with this one. But yeah, you can really, not, you just can't tell. It just looks amazing. There's none of that line like there was with the big template, all that is gone. And this thing is ready to be processed. So we can go through, start cleaning up our edges. We can go through and do color calibration, noise reduction, all that stuff. So we have a huge image of this entire horse head region now, and I couldn't be happier. It's that easy. Let me know if you guys have any questions at all. Again, thanks for all the support, and we will talk to you later.